Hey everybody, welcome to my morning voice. This is the Magical Bookcase Project. And the state of my home at the moment is very cluttered, as you can see. It's quite disorganized, but I have a plan. So this is what this little nook in my small Amsterdam apartment looks like right now. There's just a lot of junk, and things I don't like, ugly things, things I don't use, that plastic plant, <laughs> some uh, <clears throat> dying plants, oh well. One plant that's actually doing well. Yeah, poor thing. But it's still, you see, it's still alive. It's dying and being reborn at the same time. How Tarot Marseille is this? <laughs> Then I got some obvious thrift finds hanging on the wall, which I all still enjoy, but they need a different home. Probably the kitchen. It's going to be my whimsical kitchen. So here are the shelves. It's nothing special. It's just an IKEA book case, um, which I found on Dutch Marketplace. This is my couch at the moment. It's suffering from the results of a live stream with all the tarot decks. Anyway, what I'm doing here is bringing you along this day of organizing my home. So it's time to clean up, fix this useless corner of my home. This is a typical, really old actually, Amsterdam apartment. These apartments were built in 1901, probably. I actually love my living space. I chose it um, because it's not too big, but also not too cramped for me living here. And I really have a soft spot for older houses. But I think it took a lot to make this a livable space, actually. Because the ceilings are new. You know, this brick wall that you see here used to be a chimney, which obviously they blocked up. And this is leaving me with a small apartment with zero storage space <laughs> so all the closets have to be made and even though I don't know this seems like a good idea for me even though I don't even have enough books right now in this space to fill an entire bookcase it seemed like a good idea to get a new one <laughs> and you know since the lockdowns I changed that far end area of my home into, I mean, it used to have this other couch, that's a sleeping couch, and I took that apart and threw it away, and I kind of made this little cafe type area with a little table next to the windows that we can open, with two chairs that I like next to the plants, dying or alive <laughs> both fine <laughs> and well here's the bookcase assembled looks all right just taking out all this stuff on that old wall which I was going to paint but I'm never really motivated to paint basically what I think I like about this is the usefulness of this otherwise lost corner. That was the biggest idea and I think it's easier to have a chair placed in front of a bookcase rather than any other type of closet. So I made sure to throw away or find another place or rehome or sell some of the items that were previously there and now I can store some books here. I do feel like I got ripped off, or I got ripped off, 
because this is an Ikea bookcase, I mean, they're not supposed to be very expensive. I mean, it's not in the condition that the seller said it was. And I told them there are many holes and many things that are actually broken about this bookcase. What do we do about it? And he wasn't willing to compromise, and so I'm stuck with this one. But you know what? I'm just gonna give him the finger and make this work. <laughs> so I'm making sure to block those holes in the back panel and some other stuff by making a shelf for very short books so that they can hide it. But just to be sure, I actually added some tape to go over the holes. And now it's just a matter of putting things back into place. This is where I am at the end of the day. I relocated some books that were in my blue bookcase into this one. And this is the state of my blue bookcase. So here really it's all about dusting and finding the right spot for everything. This is where most of my tarot decks reside. Actually all of them, except for the ones that are currently in use, and the backup decks, I have them somewhere else. So since there's more space now, I'm just gonna space them out differently. And I like to display the boxes that I particularly like. I have my Eau de Cologne, which is of course a staple. It's kind of like Florida water, but you can actually use it as a perfume on your skin as well. Which I'm actually not sure Florida water does. Anyway, this gives me a new chance to display the Blavatsky book, which I still haven't read in its entirety, but it just looks so occult. And here are some forgotten books and magazines and I can show you proof that I actually was a professional dancer on stage because look, that's me! It was a big fat poster. We went through the country in a tour with this company and we also went all the way to China twice. And then there's this other dance piece where I also was lucky enough to be the one on the poster. It's not like I really had, at least in the first picture that I showed you, the lead role. In the second one, I think I kind of did in the end. It's just how the process worked, how the project ended up. But in the end, it's just being the one that's on the best picture. Well, my Harry Potter books, <laughs> some other stuff that I I'm glad to be able to store in the bookcase rather than next to it because that just meant clutter. Here's some stuff for the dog. Just some things that I had out in a very ugly basket that I'm gonna get rid of. And this is just a very simple solution, I think. There's my alchemical tarot and the druid craft that I cannot for the life of me sell. If you're interested, let me know. You know, obviously they're actually worth something, <laughs> but if you're interested, just let me know. This is the state of the bookcase and I'm, I'm happy. It's good. It allowed me, as I said, to declutter the table that's next to it as well. So it allows for more empty space. And this is the end result, at least for now, of where we started. 
I actually got a singing bowl gift from my dad. Really happy with that and it was just one of those things that I always wanted in my home and it's it's really beautiful. It has a low sound which I appreciate because I cannot stand the high sounds. It just gives me an instant headache. <laughs> I actually use it to cleanse this area of the home because obviously getting ripped off isn't very good energy, is it? Hey doggy. Always here, always happy. She just went out. She's super tired. <laughs> yep, and I actually hung up my masks, which I'm also really happy with. Oh yeah, and I also decided to keep this little vintage frame. Actually, it might be antique. It's that old. The drawing inside of it, at least. This was my very own decluttering video. I will make sure to make another video about the magical books in my bookcases. Happy decluttering! See you in the next one! Mm -hmm.